Hello Christian channel members, viewers and subscribers. Very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a Scopus Index Journal. It is called as Educational Administration Theory and Practice. So this journal comes under the subject category of Business Accounting and Management. So definitely uh, this will be a very good news for the management professionals. So in this video, we'll try to find out its processing charges and the time they will take from submission till successful publication of our valuable research article in this journal. While some say that uh, it is a hijacked journal, we'll try to find out which is the genuine website and we'll also try to find out if there are any cloned or maybe fake websites with this particular journal. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of Educational Administration Theory and Practice Journal. So this is the journal we are discussing about. The journal name is Educational Administration Theory and Practice. So when we type uh, this journal name in the Google, we are getting the search result. So first search result comes from KUEY.net and then we have Sai Imago JR, Sai Imago Journal Rank discussing about this particular journal. Also we have a reference in the Scopus website as well. We also have other indexing databases uh, discussing about this journal. We do not have, we believe that uh, this journal does not have a cloned or maybe a fake website. So that is the reason we decided to go with the first website. So here it reads the Turkish name over here. So this is the Turkish translation of this English uh, title. So they have given an online number and print uh, ISN number. So uh, it's a yearly journal, which means that they are publishing 12 issues per year. So here you can understand that the language of publication is in English language. Okay. And the article processing charges has been mentioned as 1000 USD, which is approximately 80,000 in Indian rupees. So here it has mentioned that uh, this journal has been indexed by the Scopus and it falls in the Q4 category under the education stream. So when we browse through the current issue, so it is volume 30 issue number 4, 2024. We can find over here too many articles. Most of them are Indian author articles and we also have uh, some uh, foreign articles as well. So in the aims and scope of this journal, so they have given the subject area to be education, leadership, organizations, leadership development, policy. So all associated with the educational administration we can find over here. In the editorial team section, we can find that the editor in chief is from India. So it's basically from Nagpur. And here you can find the Google Scholar profile and Scopus profile and Wikipedia as well. Also, we have associate editor also from India. So we believe that uh, this journal is uh, taken over by the Indian team of people and the editorial board members, we can find uh, people from different countries. But uh, as we can see that only the editor in chief and associate editor, we have uh, links. But uh, for the editorial board members, they have given a proper email ID. So this itself is really good, but maybe they could have uh, displayed, uh, you know, the ORCID or maybe the biography of the editorial board members. But however, we can find some internationalism in the editorial board members. About the author guideline section, they have given that you should submit your paper in MS Word 2010 or maybe 2013 format. So page length is limited between like uh, 20 till 25 pages. And here uh, they have given the abstract uh, should be between like uh, 150 till 250 words and they have given some guidelines of how the references should look like within the research paper. So in the references section, they basically follow uh, APA format. So basically you have to create an account in order to submit your research paper and this article will follow a double blind peer review process. Please note that you have to submit your paper in the English language and uh, the reviewers will be reviewing your paper and they will be giving the comments you should uh, work on this paper and as mentioned in the website they are charging a processing or maybe publication charges of 1000 USD per accepted paper. So here they have mentioned that it falls under Q3 quartile but anyway we will check them. When you go to the archive section we can find like uh, every month we have uh, one particular issue in recent uh, issues uh, that is in 2024, we can find minimum like uh, 40 articles per issue. 
so 40 articles 50 articles even in the current issue we can find too many articles this is not a very good sign in the announcement section they have given a call for editorial board members and in the contact section they have just given the principal contact and support contact to be just email id they do not have an affiliation or maybe a google map live location or maybe address with pin code nothing has been displayed even uh, their contact number nothing has been displayed over here so about this website we have like a little information we try to copy paste the turkish uh, translation of the journal title over here we are getting some search result we have some uh, search result from dirgy park and also we have from search dot trdizin.gov.tr will go through them so here we can understand that earlier uh, during the initial issues of this particular journal like uh, 2014 so they have uh, published their research articles in this particular website and they have mentioned that this magazine has ceased publication has stopped publication and is no longer hosted by Dirgy Park even when we try to browse through the pdf articles of this uh, particular website so when we go through this uh, one particular article and we try to cross check with the first website of course both the uh, pdfs have been found to be same but however we can understand that when we click on all issues so until like uh, 2014 they have published the research articles and after that it moved on to only one website that is the first website when we went through another one website so they have mentioned that it is actually a print journal so it was started during like 1995 so earlier uh, we had the pattern of publishing like quarterly pattern like march june september december and after that they may be publishing one issue per month anyway we will cross check with the sai Imago journal rank website so we decided to search for educational administration theory and practice so country is turkey However, the country is Turkey, but we can uh, find out that the editor-in-chief is from India and associate editor is from India and we can find uh, some more editorial board members, but we cannot find a proper affiliation. But the publisher they have given it as uh, Pegum Academy and so on. So the same information we can find over here, Pegum Academy and so on. So of course, we can find out that this is actually the original website and from this they have moved to the first website. So in the subject area and category, we can find out that uh, it is business management and accounting and social sciences. And down you can find out that the H index is just 4 and we have the online and ISN number. When we try to click for a home page and how to publish in this journal, it is redirecting to the first website. So which means that this uh, website is actually the genuine website according to Sai Imago journal rank. And the coverage years shows like 2019 till 2022 but anyway we will cross check with the Scopus website. So here they have mentioned the scope and the quartile it comes under Q4 quartile in the field of education, management of technology and innovation, organizational behavior and strategy and management. So MBA people as well as education or maybe pedagogical uh, department can definitely uh, submit your research papers for possible consideration of publication. So here we can find out the two year, four year and five year statistics of this journal. So here uh, in the comment section, we can find out that uh, people have been asking whether it is still continuing in the Scopus database or not. We have one comment over here that uh, actually uh, caught my eyes. So this was posted like two days back. So he has mentioned that this journal is out of scope but still they are claiming that it is in Scopus. But anyway, we will try to uh, check with the Scopus website. Uh, but anyway, you can actually contact the uh, Scopus uh, team and uh, maybe you can uh, verify whether this journal is currently up to date in the Scopus or not or maybe it might be removed in the future so you can ask them any point of time when you go to the Scopus website so scopus.com so here in the sources okay and in the title you enter the title okay educational administration theory and practice you will get the search result so Scopus coverage years shows from 2019 till present here we can find a different publisher name like Oracle uh, Global Society of Education and Research both the ISN numbers what we saw with the first website we can find over here and the same subject area categories we can find here there is no home page okay so we cannot verify this one but however we go to the scopus content coverage we can find 2024 20, 17 documents 
but 2023 we can find 83 documents okay let me uh, tell you one interesting analysis okay so about this particular website okay so here we have in the current issue too many articles let us forget about that let us go to the archer section when you browse through 2023 year when you browse through all of the issues of 2023 so when you try to add the number of articles so it comes up to 80 80 articles have been published and here you can understand that all of the 80 articles have been indexed which means that this is actually the genuine website so whatever uh, the articles being published definitely it got indexed up to 2023 and in 2024 i really don't know what happened so uh, starting from january 2024 this website started publishing articles like uh, 40 articles per uh, issue earlier they used to publish like 20 articles per issue uniformly but now they started publishing 40 articles and as you can see in the current issue we can find too many articles being published and here in uh, scopus website in 2024 only 17 documents got indexed i believe that this journal will be removed uh, from the scopus database under serious concerns maybe there are chances that uh, the coverage uh, might be discontinued and it will show like 2019 till uh, 2023 it might show in the future okay and in site score rank and trend we can find out it comes under 25th percentile as you can know 0 to 25 comes under q4 category earlier they were in q3 quartile that is what they are claiming in the website but it is not right now in the q4 quartile actually they drop from q3 to q4 we believe that this journal will be removed from the scopus database right now in 2024 in the forthcoming days or months when you go to abdc website australian business teams council uh, website okay so we try to download the abdc journal quality list so here we can see uh, the list being downloaded i tried to search for educational administration i clicked on find next there is only one search result that is actually a different result which means that this uh, website or maybe this journal does not come under the abdc journal quality list however when we try to search for this ugc care website okay ugc care we have group one and group two so in group two uh, we have scopus source list over here so since this journal currently as on date is indexed in the scopus database it comes under ugc care group 2 but however if the journal has been removed from the scopus database it does not come under ugc care group 1 or maybe group 2 so as far as this journal is concerned we have little information in the website as this journal is currently in the scopus database we find that this journal has been indexed in the ugc care group 2 but however it is not indexed in the master journal list or maybe web of science database and not indexed in the abdc quality list about the article processing charges they have mentioned it as thousand usd per paper but through the back door through the association through the conference organizers through the agents they are charging an amount of twenty thousand in indian rupees or approximately 250 us dollars and the time they are taking to publish the research article is at most like three weeks although we find little information in the uh, sci imago journal rank we find that there are too many articles being published in the current issue and the number of articles indexed in the scopus database is very less as of 2024 we believe that this journal will be removed from the scopus database in the forthcoming days or months so if you have any clarifications questions queries positive or maybe negative experience please share them in the comment section So I'm sure you would have benefited a lot out of this useful review. So see you then in another interesting yet another genuine review of Scopus Web of Science SCI ABDC or maybe UGC Care Group 1 or maybe Group 2 journals as well. Till then, collaboration is the